I've made no secret about where I stand on guns in America. Nothing happened today has changed my mind. Uh, joining me now are three men who disagree with me. Richard Feldman, President of the Independent Firearm Owners Association, also Ben Ferguson, CNN political commentator, and John Lott, the author of More Guns, Less Crime. His new book is Dumbing Down the Course. Welcome to you all. Ben Ferguson, just reading your tweet 11 minutes ago, you said, Piers Morgan thinks the gun used today is the problem and should be banned. I think today's proof that anti-gun ideas are a total failure. How on earth do you justify that tweet? Well, look at D.C. First of all, in D.C., you're not allowed to own any semi-automatic rifle. It's been against the law for a long time. So this gun so should have been it? there based, where, where did he buy based the on the AR-15? Well, we don't, we ben, don't where did know he buy, where he bought it. Where did he buy it? No, we do know where he bought we it. We don't know. It's we don't know. He, tonight. First of all, you're assuming, it has emerged, you're assuming ben, he bought it. A, no, you're I can't assuming let you, he bought it. I can't let you go on. No, he didn't why, steal why it. Why can't you let he me go on? It, do you know that he bought because it? Because I'm telling you a fact, Ben. He bought it legally in Virginia. Legally in okay, Virginia. So, this so is if, the problem with America's gun laws. It's not legal where he did the act. It's legal around the corner. There's no federal ban right, on so, AR-15s, so that's why they keep being used. All right, but in D.C. today, he broke the law bringing in. Second thing is, you can't even have a permit to carry a gun, a handgun, much less this gun in D.C. That's the other issue. And finally, in 1993, Bill Clinton signed executive order banning guns by civilians or others on military bases. That's part of the reason why Fort Hood happened the way that it did. So you had all of these ideas of anti-gun today. They were all in place. They were all perfectly executed. And it was a failure in this base with all the best security in the world. So the idea that somehow we can pass a law to stop crazy people, or you think that if we pass a law to get rid of this one gun, that somehow he wouldn't have acted today. He did bring another gun with him, by the way, which was also against the law in D.C. It's not working, Piers. That's the problem. Okay, I'll tell you what isn't working is the failure to do anything to even clamp down on AR-15s. Richard Feldman, here are some statistics for you. This is from Mother Jones, who analyzed the mass shootings in America going back to 1982. There have now been 67 mass shootings. They based this on the FBI clarification of four or more people killed, and they've they chosen the criteria of by a single shooter uh, in an outdoor scenario. 67 mass shootings in America since 1982. 30 of those have occurred since 2006 seven in 2012 alone and five so far this year so a dramatic escalation in mass shootings in america in the last seven or eight years or so why do you think there's not a problem here well there is a problem here pierce what our failure as a nation is to even talk about the complexity of the problem you know, Pierce, after the tragedy last year at Sandy Hook, everyone seemed to have as one of their talking points mental health. And as soon as we said mental health, that was check. But we never had an, an adult conversation in this country about the problems with our mental health system. And just earlier today, I was speaking with Dr. Cedric Alexander, the chief of police in DeKalb County, Georgia where there was a shooting incident two weeks ago that didn't lead to any injuries. And he was, you know, frustrated as millions and millions of Americans are, that we sort of lose track with the problem. And instead of staying focused on the problem, we start talking about the particular type of gun used, as though being shot with a different type of gun would somehow be better Amen. or worse, instead of focusing on the problem. But the, pro the real problem, though, isn't it, John Lott, and you and I have debated this after almost every mass shooting in the last three years, is that you guys just never accept that the gun itself can ever be part of the problem. In fact, your answer to all these shootings is arm more people. Now, let's take what happened today, because the NRA has been curiously <laughs> silent today. NRA doesn't want to say anything about this, and here's why. Because the Washington Navy Yard is heavily secure. It is crawling in armed security people, armed police. And yet it was still infiltrated by a man with a legally purchased AR-15 who just committed the same kind of atrocity as we saw at Sandy Hook and Aurora. And yet I'm sure, John Lott, you're going to explain to me now why the, that the solution is not to deal with that gun, which keeps being used to do these atrocities, but is to arm even more people in that building. Is that right? Well, in this case... Uh, I, 
would agree with Ben earlier, and I would say I'd go even further, and that is when you go and ban guns from certain areas, when you don't allow our soldiers or naval officers to be able to go and carry guns, you actually create a, a magnet for these types of attacks to occur. I have to say the numbers they're using for Mother Jones are, are simply wrong. If you look at any of the academics who have gathered data, there's no big increase that occurs uh, in recent years. What essentially is is Mother Jones used different definitions to m measure these attacks over time. So it's just, to clarify, just to source. clarify, Mr. Lott, just to clarify, you are stating for the record that it's when done. Mother Jones, with their specific criteria that I gave you, when they say there have been 70 shooting incidents in America where four or more people have been killed by a lone shooter in an outdoor scenario, you are saying they are inventing those statistics? I'm saying multiple people have said that they're wrong in terms of their numbers. Are you multiple a so-called expert in this? Are you prepared to say now, for the record, that Mother Jones is simply inventing these statistics, that these mass shootings that they have recorded in great detail, which are published on their website, simply didn't happen? Is that your position? No, I, I didn't say they didn't happen. I said that they use different, they don't use a consistent standard, and so if well, they, they do. make They've it made look it very like clear they're more they occurring is. now than there used to be. But there right. are more occurring now, Pierce. John Lott. There are. No. There have been. Let me repeat no, for you. That's let me true. repeat for you. Since that's 1982. Not, you can keep on using the, Mother Jones. Let me, Look, please. Pierce, if you allow me to repeat, want to rely John Lott, on Mother you can't, Jones, you can't that's do what you, you always do, do which is saying, simply spin these statistics. Let me repeat to you the facts. Since 1982, uh, it, there have now there, been 70 really mass shootings in America. Of those, 30 have happened since 2006. Of those, Pierce, 13 look, in the last 20 months. Pierce, of those 13, three Pierce, have been three of the worst in modern American history. Yelling isn't going to make those numbers right. Look, what does can, make them wrong, John Lott? Professor Fox at They're Northeastern facts. University, others have looked at this, and they would warn you to be careful uh, not to use those numbers. But, Pierce, uh, let me, let's know, get Fox, back to today's other shooting. People would go and argue that there hasn't been that increase over time, not just myself. All right, but, Pierce. Okay. Ben Ferguson. Ben Pierce, Ferguson. Let's, get, ben back, Ferguson. let's get, get back. Let me ask you this. Ben, yeah. let me ask you this, Ben. But okay, in the, the last problem three here major. Is that wait, wait these a second, please, gentlemen. Zones John Lott, a let me turn to Ben Ferguson. John Lott, please, one moment. Ben Ferguson. Aurora was the biggest single shooting in America by one shooter in terms of the number of people that he sure. hit, 70 people. There's a Sandy Hook zone. that came a few months later. Sandy Hook that came a few months later was the worst gun school shooting zone. in American history. We've now seen the second worst military base shooting in modern American history. At what gun point, given zone. that all three were committed by people, well, they're not gun-free jo zones, are they, John Locke? But Pierce, When Pierce, you have a place Pierce. like today, let me, let me jump, let me jump in here. crawling yes, in armed security, it is not a gun-free zone. Let me say this. It is a heavily guarded municipal okay. base. Okay, Pierce. Pierce, let me, let me say this, because this is important for us to look at today. Hold on, everybody. Just give me a second, okay? You look at what happened today, and there are two ways to look at this. You want to blame the AR-15, and you think that if we ban this AR-15, federally ban it, that somehow that is going to fix the issue. I look at it differently, Piers, and I look at it from this perspective. When you allow these places to go where the only people there that they can that, that can protect these individuals are those at the gate at the front door with the gun the MPs that are there same thing that happened in Fort Hood once this guy and we don't know yet how he infiltrated it okay we know that the guys that were there minding their own business doing their jobs played by the rules they did not bring a gun in they are not allowed to based on a, an executive order by Bill Clinton in 1993 when you allow a military base to be able to be infiltrated by an individual like this. And at that point, he has free reign until those people with guns at the gate can find him. And look how many hours. We had a lockdown today. And we had a lot of information about not knowing how many shooters there were or where they were or if they had them all. But ben, you continue ben, to ben, look at this. Let me, say, let me finish this. This is important. You continue to look at this based on the gun is evil. I say don't set up people, whether it be a movie theater or a school or a military base, for failure by having a gun-free zone unless you are a law enforcement official at that base, ben, at that ben, movie theater, at the, that school. But, Ben, 
With respect, it's not a gun-free zone. The Washington Navy base that was hit today is then why did Bill Clinton in armed security. Sign Wait a minute. The very same armed security you guys have called for after Sandy Hook, after Aurora, you wanted armed guards at movie theaters, armed guards at schools. There no. were armed guards at the naval no, base, and it made absolutely Pierce, no, no difference. I, I, I haven't called this for that. This is the reason why we are in favor. This is the reason why we're not calling for armed guards, because they cannot work, and today is proof of that. We are saying that if you are in the United States Navy, and we trust you with Navy ships and war, why the hell wouldn't we trust you to carry your weapon to work with you when we trust you with top secret information and okay. coordinates and tracking the point, of ben ships Ferguson, in the world? Is, I'm not missing the yeah, point. Ben Ferguson, You're obsessed well, with the AR-15. You, you are addressing the problem with armed You are addressing. You are addressing members of the armed forces. All the victims today were civilians. So it's a completely factual point to make. And some of those civilians should be able They're to protect themselves. They're not military people. They were civilians. Well, but but if they're law yet again citizens, by the a man with an AR-15 assault either. rifle. I've got to leave it there. Yeah. Look, we have this debate every time. I want the day to come when we don't have to have this ridiculous debate time and again in America. AR-15 killing multiple Americans. I just cannot have this debate anymore. It is ridiculous. Do something about it. And the three gentlemen just came on. Think about your position. Think about how it helps save American lives. Because it doesn't. More guns is not the answer. Anyway, we'll leave it till the next time. Because there will be a next time.